what's the point of having a beautiful face and beautiful body and lovely clothes and in Jannah or we don't even know where we're going to go to start with. And on the other side, we have nothing. That's not fair. So develop your link with the Quran and Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala will open your doors. And that does not mean that we are Quraniyun, na'udhu billah. May Allah forbid. Quraniyun are those who say we only accept the Quran, the Sunnah is discounted completely. Astaghfirullah. May Allah forgive us. And may Allah guide such people. Wallahi, that statement is so flawed that they have not yet read the Quran correctly because had they read the Quran correctly, it leads you to follow the Sunnah. That's what it is. Allah says in so many places in the Quran that what the messenger has given you, you take. Whatever he has said, you, you take it. Part of the Sunnah. Whatever Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala, whatever the messenger has given you, you take. Whatever he has prohibited, you consider prohibited. That's the messenger. That is rubber stamping the entire sunnah of Rasulullah sallallahu alayhi wa sallam from Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala. And this is why Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala speaks about something else. When it comes to Rasulullah sallallahu alayhi wa sallam, he says, فَلَا وَرَبِّكَ لَا يُؤْمِنُونَ حَتَّى يُحَكِّمُوكَ فِي مَا شَجَرَ بَيْنَهُمْ ثُمَّ لَا يَجِدُوا فِي أَنفُسِهِمْ حَرَجًا مِمَّا قَضَيْتُ Allah says, nay, indeed, by your Rabb, they are not considered true believers until they make you a judge in the matters that they are disputing regarding. You the judge. And on top of that, when the decision of the messenger is given, they feel no form of difficulty or no hardship to adopt it. They don't feel any negativity in their hearts towards the adoption of the sunnah of Rasulullah or the decision of Muhammad that is when you're a true believer. The topics that are covered in the Quran are vast. It covers entire life. It covers everything. The explanation is provided in the sunnah of Muhammad So you find salah. Salah is instructed in the Quran, but the details of that salah is explained in the sunnah of Muhammad Definitely. You find zakah. Zakah is instructed in the Quran, but the details of what to give, how to give, when to give and so on, all found in the sunnah of Muhammad You find hajj, for example, it is instructed in the Quran. And at the same time, the explanation is in the life of Muhammad The hadith says, take from me these actions of hajj and the, the, the various uh, elements of hajj are to be taken from Muhammad as you see him do, so you shall do. The same applies to salah. He says, Sallu kama ra'aytumuni usalli. O Rasulullah sallallahu we have the instruction of salah. How do we fulfill the salah? He says, fulfill the salah exactly as you see me fulfill the same salah. So when they saw him and they recorded it, that this is what we saw him do. That's what we saw him do. All our duty is to follow exactly as we have been taught Rasulullah has done and you will not go wrong.